And now it's time for Free Question Friday. So today we have a question via Facebook from Michelle and she asks, Jay Morgan, how do I reduce my dog separation anxiety when I'm not here? Well, Michelle, this is obviously, um, it can be a potential dog obedience question, but there are a couple of things you can do in your day-to-day -day life that can reduce your dog separation anxiety. The first thing you can do is to have a lavender hydrosol spray, and that is lavender oil infused with water. You don't want to use straight lavender in case you have any cats, because if cats get a hold of any kind of essential oil, um, it can be toxic to, to cats. So you want to have the hydrosol lavender spray, and you want to spray it around your dog's general area or the bed, um, because lavender has been known to reduce uh, stress, reduce anxiety in dogs and people. The second thing you want to do is to leave one of your items of clothing around your dog's bed or where your dog hangs out for the day. By doing this, your dog will uh, have your scent around, and as we, most of us know, uh, dogs are incredibly smell sensitive. In fact, it's their primary source of awareness, generally speaking, is their sense of smell. So by having one of your articles of clothing around where your dog hangs out during the day, it will help to soothe and calm your dog. And the last thing you can do is to have classical music on in the background. Uh, studies have shown, and also my personal experience has shown, that by leaving classical music on in the background, um, you will be calming your animals down because it has a very soothing, just like for humans, it has a very soothing kind of energy and, and will really help to relax your dog when you're not home. So, Michelle, by following those three steps on a daily basis, you'll be able to slightly uh, reduce your animal separate, your dog separation anxiety. Um, and of course, uh, it is important that you, if you are very concerned about the anxiety, that you do consult with a dog obedience trainer, and I'm happy to recommend one if, uh, if you so desire. So uh, that's all for now. If anybody has a question about Free Question Friday, if they want to write in, they can email jill.soulstice at gmail.com. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time.